team, we're back. Well, you've been asking for it. I, fine. You tied my hands behind my back. I will recreate an Acacia Friendly <laughs> makeup tutorial from 2014. I will do it, all right? Because I'm a woman of the people first and foremost, and second of all, I'm a philanthropist. It's on her first day. So this makeup tutorial has been stuck in the back of my head since I was quite literally in a small child on the internet with my underdeveloped brain, which some would argue is still underdeveloped, okay? We haven't made much progress from the age of 16 to 25, okay? And yes, I'm 25. You bitches think I'm either 17 or 38, and I don't understand. Because I have the smooth and soft complexion of a newborn baby, as well as the thin hair and big eyes. My mom thought until pr about the age of two that I was gonna be bald forever. She took me to the doctor and he was like, no, she's just got a big head. All right, so I am going to screen record my screen for Stanley's sake. Okay, in this video, I was looking for it and I was like looking for it on her main channel because of course that's where it would be. And apparently it was taken down or something. And so this is a re-upload and it's only got like 10,000 views and all the comments are like, I miss this so much. I still wear my makeup like this. And I'm like, fair. So I don't know why this isn't on her main channel, but regardless. All right, here we go. Thank you very quickly to the sponsor of today's video, Seat Geek. Seat Geek, we're back with another one. Thank you, team. We made it, team. Now, did you know there are more than 70,000 events daily on Seat Geek? Concerts, sports events, festivals, whatever you need, there are tickets on SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. I mean, look at this. I'm going to see the 1975 soon. <laughs> Elton John. Harry, <laughs> The Weeknd, Blackpink, Paramore, stop! Ah! I wanna make sure you're getting a good deal, so when I'm looking at these Paramore tickets for Wednesday, July 19th, look at all the little green dots. Green means good deal, red means bad deal. These tickets are actually not that expensive. <laughs> Bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. You know I came through for you guys? I have a code. I do have a code. You can use my code BROSKI for $20 off your first SeatGeek purchase. That's $20 off your first purchase with my code BROSKI. You see it right here. Make sure you click that link in the description. It'll take you right to the app. Love you guys, and thank you SeatGeek. In the video. Period. <laughs> Just the most basic I look ever, by the way. Why is this focusing on something up here? Is there a ghost? The longest intro ever. <laughs> if I did that, if I did a, my tongue would be just yellow, white, disgusting. But I'm back forever. Keep me, love me, love me. I love you. I put this in 1.5 speed for all of our sakes. So first I'm going to grind my face with this Hangover RX. Okay, so I'm doing me. <laughs> I'm doing me. I'm gonna do like my own thing with my own products, but in the way that she does it, because I can't be asked, babe. I can't be asked to go buy a lot of this makeup. It's very old. So I'm using this in my ex marshmallow and it smells good. And I know what is, everyone's like, don't use scented products on your face. I don't care if I live or die, okay? So I'm using this because it smells good. Her wall is so iconic, dude. Look at all the records, man, oh my God. Why did we want to be her so bad? I don't know if it actually helps, but. I'm not doing all that. And why did the internet bully her so bad? You're just gonna pat it to your balls. All right, we're, we're priming for half the video. That is so much foundation. Half of the product's gonna be soaked up into the sponge. All right. I'll be using my NARS Monet Michael, Mick Michael, Monet Mick Michael, Monet. Recommended this a long time ago on TikTok and I'm obsessed with her. Hi, Monet. Do you want to be my friend? NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade white. In the shade, I can't go in the sun. I put it on my finger and then I spread it around kind of like a moisturizer and I use maybe, these pumps are kind of small and it's buildable. And Trixie Mattel is quoted as once saying, any foundation is buildable if you apply enough of it. And I live by that. Skin is looking incredibly textured this morning. Loving that. You guys come in here, come in here to me. Welcome to my face. Why does this look so bad? <laughs> 
this lighting is not optimal. You ever done your makeup in the in the sunlight? I'll humble you real quick. All right, that'll do, donkey. And I'm gonna be using a brush because I'm a civilized adult. And also Monet does this and I was like, maybe I should do that. I also didn't use her foundation. Like if you go back on any of the makeup videos in my, on my channel, I do concealer as my base and I set it with, with foundation. And then I would run out of it really quickly. Okay, and now because I'm smart, you go back over it with a damp beauty blender. But I really wanna give it that cakey quality that 2013, 2014 really gave to us because I miss that era where you would hug somebody and half of their face would come off on your shoulder and you're like, yes. Beat. Yes, Too Faced, Urban Decay. Okay, Jaclyn Hill. You guys follow Jaclyn Hill on TikTok? She makes them incredible. She's such like a, a wifey. She's like, here's my best buffalo cheese dip. And I'm like, I'm gonna watch this whole thing. Knowing two of those things are gonna make me diarrhea. Okay, that is gonna have to do. And the next thing I'm gonna be doing is my eyebrows. And I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. So we're not setting. Okay. Now again, I have the Anastasia stuff, but I just don't, I can't get up. You know what I mean? Because if I got up, that's just gonna shift my mood. If I have to move, I have to get up and do something. I'm gonna come back pissed off. And for y'all's sake, I don't wanna do that. I don't do that to me, I don't wanna do that to you, I don't wanna do that to Stanley. So I'm gonna use, and it's entirely rubbed off, by the way. So if you wanted the brand, that's too bad. <laughs> I think this used to be ColourPop. I cannot believe we're not setting our face or even adding anything to cover up my dark circles. Do I have dark circles or do I just have bug eyes? All right. Hi, I don't know if this is the same. All right, so she, she went for it. Let's go for it. extremely affected by this makeup tutorial or was that just me like this is 10 years later and I'm still thinking about this tutorial okay looking incredibly a cocky up so after I fill my eyebrows in with the brow with I use the Anastasia dip brow or pomade dip brow dip brow pomade sorry and ebony I'm gonna use this cute little brush and a brush dude to make sure that the brow is I'm not doing all that I guess I could I'll go in with this color from the Juno Trixie palette. Let's go! I'm going to be working out of the semi sweet chocolate bar from Too Faced. Dude! <laughs> and this is my original one! Yes, I've had this for over 10 years. F you! F you bitch! There was that whole movement of like, makeup expires, you've got to throw it away. You know how much money I spent on this as a 16 year old? I didn't even have a credit card, I didn't have a debit card, dude, I just had cash. I went to Walmart, put cash on one of those American Express gift cards, got the gift card, it was probably like $75 on it, my life savings, went to Too Faced, the website, ordered this with, cause I didn't have a debit card, I didn't have a credit card. And it came in the mail and I was like, I am her. I am her, I am Akakia, okay? This was everything. Now, I do have some other relics from this time, if you bitches remember this sweet peach palette. And yes, it does still smell like peaches. That is so not good for you, you know? This color, color story, very interesting. I think very well done, still to this day. Um, the quality of the, I mean, that's so cute. Chocolate bar, like, are you kidding? And we have an honorable mention for <laughs> We do have an honorable mention that needs to be mentioned and needs to be honored because this poor girl, honestly not as bad as some of, some of the girls on TikTok that I've seen that have done like, you know, makeup graveyard videos, but you can tell kind of where I leaned. I was definitely more over here, more on this side of the palette. I tried to do these, but I just ended up looking like I had the bubonic plague because when you are as fair as me and you have blue eyes, that red you think is gonna be so sickening, bitch, I just looked sick. I looked like Squidward when he had the suds or SpongeBob when he had the suds. All right. This is all you're going to need for the lids and everything else. This is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette that I own. Um, and it compliments my eyeballs. <laughs> I remember, ew, I like remember everything about this video. I remember her saying that and me being like, <laughs> eyeballs. Primer, I'm going to be using the Painterly, the Pro Longwear Paint Pop Painterly. This is by far my favorite. So first we are going to be putting coconut cream, which is somewhere here, all over your- Okay, you got to slow down, girl. There's so much going on. And for the sake of this laying right on my eye, because I'm not using the Painterly paint pot, um, I'm just gonna set this 
with a little bit of powder. So I have greasy eyelids. We're my greasy eyelid gang. Okay. If any of y'all out there are incredibly pink toned the way that I am, Laura Mercier makes a pink powder, a rose powder. I'm sure it's cheaper with other brands, but I, I love this. Like it doesn't make me look yellow. It doesn't make me look white cast. Like it actually matches the color of my skin. Wow, makeup, we've come so far. That it's so much easier to blend things when you have like a, a bone colored eyeshadow all over your lid. God, she's so right. It's just that is super easy to blend, so I put a bone color on the entire. Oh my God, she's using the naked brush. Don't remember that brush that had the, it was a, like blending on one side and then like a pat on the other side. God, I missed that brush. That was a great brush. Okay, I'm gonna be using this Sephora brush number 15. And it's one of those like packer ones. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it. Coconut creme. And then I'm gonna be using. For any of y'all that don't know, this smells like chocolate. This, and I got this for myself for Christmas one year. I have never been happier. I think that was the last time I was happy. Truly, genuinely happy was this, okay? The power of makeup compels you. Firstborn son, lastborn son. Okay, we have bone on the lid. Come in here a little closer, guys. I'm missing you. Sorry about the lighting, okay? We just moved. I don't know where my ring light is. I'm using the sun. All-time favorite blending brush. Um, I don't know where it's from. Or where I got it. Yeah, she stole it from her friend. I borrowed an eyeshadow brush from someone, and then, you know, they never asked her back, and I forgot that I even had it, because I don't wear eyeshadow for it. A stealer and a liar. You know, I still have it, I guess, so this is your brush. Please don't claim it, because I love it a lot. Um, I'm going to be using peanut butter, which is like this burnt orange, and using a little, little bit, the crease of your eyeball, like that. To deepen it, I'm going to be using a crease shadow brush from Sephora. Okay, pause. I used to do this look every single day. Every single day. And you know what? As I've gotten older, I love the idea of I get to pick who I want to be every day. I don't have a, a makeup routine. You know what I mean? Like for the base I do, but for what I do for the rest of it, each day I'm a new woman. I'm a new person. And I think that's beautiful. I've been getting into deft tones recently. With this new 1975 album, the fucking Arctic Monkeys album came out. And although they're not garage band emo the way that it all used to be, it's still, it's sending me back to where I want to be. You know what I mean? I missed out on the emo era because I had strict parents. And now I am an adult who pays taxes. All right, I'm not going to jail. I pay my taxes. And I want to be emo. I've decided I want to be emo, but I'm not willing to to get rid of the blonde extensions. I'm not willing to change anything about myself. So sometimes I'm just gonna wear black tights is really what I'm getting at here. And uh, I'm, I'm getting into the to the emo grunge music. Okay, that'll have to do. Point at the top. So I can really get into that crease. And I'm gonna be using truffled, which is right above peanut butter. Truffled, truffled butter. <laughs> Sorry. I'm using her. This is an unnamed, undisclosed brush. Mix peanut butter and truffle together. Oh, we're mixing them. But the main color you want to be using is peanut butter, and then the truffle is just for the crease. So you don't really want to, you know, put that everywhere where peanut butter is. I'm going to be using nougat, like pinkish color. Oh, stop. You know what's one of my favorite OG Arctic Monkey songs is Red Light Indicates Doors Are Secured. Now, if you've never been to the great country of Great Britain, in British taxis, there's a button, a little uh, red light that says red light indicates doors are secured when you're inside of the cab. I went there for the first time when I was 18 and this was like after my Arctic Monkeys phase. And I got into a cab and I saw that and I was like, it's like from the song. Oh my God, they made the thing from the song real. Anyway, that's a great Arctic Monkey song. And his Sheffield accent is so thick. And then you're gonna pack that on. What's she doing? Nougat? This is nougat. That is nougat. I'll show you a nugget. Okay. I don't know if it's because these palettes are so old. This color is not coming through. <coughs> and what if I get an eye infection? What then do you think? Okay, I'll come over here. Is that any better? Maybe. <coughs> and that is all we're gonna be doing for now on the eyeshadow because the bottom part's gonna be really smoky. So I wanna do like the two stuff before you, yeah, so at least smoky. But next I'm gonna be doing eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the Tarte Clay Pot in black. All right, I will be using, J not Jeffree Star, Patrick Star, cousins. I will be using Patrick Star's iconic red black liner. I'm using the Tarte, I think it's called Edge and Sketch eyeliner brush. And I'm gonna start from the bottom of my upper 
She has such beautiful downturned eyes. I wish that she would have embraced that a little more. And so I could have embraced it a little more because I do too. I'm going to raise it to the end of my not all the way to the end of my but like, you know, I'm keep having this with my battery pack because my battery is stupid. Period. But I drew a line from the top of my eyelashes to the corner of my eyebrow, not all the way halfway. And then I came back down to make a triangle type situation. Dull liner is extremely tricky for me. I'm just gonna be using L'Oreal Paris. Then I'm going to be using, I'm gonna use my mobile. Okay, stop. You are going entirely too fast. I can't deal with the not setting the foundation. I can't deal with it. And they're so not even, and that's awesome. <laughs> Dude, we're literally in 2013. We're in 2014. I have homework to do. Oh my God, y'all, I gotta go. I have homework to do. The Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. Okay. Favorite mascara that I've ever used. Again, I have this, but I'm not getting up to get it, okay? I'm not doing it, and you can't force me to. I'm gonna be using this. Glam, bling, country girl, rock star, rodeo winner, rhinestone cross, diamond, turquoise, eyelash curler, okay. I said it's high green, mate, via Hillsborough, please. Part of the fun of curling your eyelashes is seeing all the goop that you've left in your eyelashes from the eyelash glue that you use. That's actually part of the fun, you know? Okay, next. I'm gonna be using these wispies from Arnell, but there's too many lashes for me because I already have so many lashes. <laughs> I'll be using these. 516. But it does mean that you do not mess up, so I do not recommend this if you're new at putting lashes on because then you have black. Oh, like, I get the appeal of a black eyelash glue, but bitch, even like professional makeup artists I've worked with, like eyelashes are the hardest part because y the subject is moving. Your eyelids are always moving. Even when I, when makeup artists do my makeup, the eyelashes are what we take off and reapply the most. Imagine if that had black glue on it. You've ruined the eye look. I much prefer clear. Get over here. What? Oh, okay, so she does use concealer. I was hating on her too soon. Keisha, you get it, girl. Anyone from Sheffield watch my videos? That's you. That's you right there. Do you know, do you know that you're beautiful? Hey, smile. This is you looking good beautiful today. Don't forget. Oh yeah, the fantasy. This was who I was. This is who I was. <laughs> okay, she said she puts her concealer on in a triangle and we have to do it in the 2013 way. Just literally packing on. This is so not my color. It's simply yellow. Yes. Yellow ass under eyes. Okay, fine. It doesn't look too bad. Now we're gonna do my under eyes. <gasps> I'm gonna take this lovely type of brush from Morphe. Okay. It's peanut butter, burnt orange, and nougat, the stuff that you use. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, we're going back in with peanut butter, girls. Ew. This makeup look works for people who have young skin that doesn't move. And I have relatively young skin, but holy shit. So I'm gonna be using just, it's called a glimmer stick by Avon and Blackest Night. Did I do that right? <laughs> Looking a little sudsy. Okay, then she takes a black uh, liner and I assume we're gonna do our waterline. I think it is like a crayon, is what it's called. Patrick Star. You just put it on your waterline. Next, you're gonna take, I just take like a fat. Yup. Okay, period. That doesn't look awful. Flat, flat brush like this, pretty thin and flat. And I use licorice and truffled, but obviously we're licorice. Okay. Licorice is the black one right there. And she's just blending it out. And then the brush that you used for the peanut butter and nougat 
You're gonna go over that again with peanut butter and you get and blend. This was like a pretty complicated routine for all the 15 year olds. Okay. Like that. And then if you want to, I just angled, angled, angled brush and peanut butter. Then I kind of draw a second wing. I forgot about this. But I think it's super cute and it adds just a little something. Um, and then you're just gonna use mascara and I'm gonna be using their real mascara by Benefit. And then I'm going to put mascara on my falsies. Oh, I totally forgot to highlight my brow bone. Oh my god, we forgot to highlight the brow bone. I'm going to be using coconut cream and butter pecan. Coconut cream and butter, what? Butter pecan. Butter pecan is this yellow looking shimmer one. This one, pink sugar right there, used to be it. I think she puts it on that, if I remember correctly, which I'm sure I do. Okay, she did coconut cream and butter pecan. Oh my God, this is so 2014. She wiped off half my eyebrow, but that's okay. You live and learn. This second wing is crazy. That looks stupid and crazy. It could be worse though, it could be worse. I'm gonna use pink sugar to this one, it's sparkly pink. Yo, yo. <laughs> what do you know about all that? What do you know about all that? You don't know anything about that. Then I'm going to be using the Ross and Rachel Too Faced Bronzer and Blush. This is so cute, it's just a little heart. And I'm just gonna be using just a normal, just a Morphe brush and it's fluffy. And I'm just gonna be putting it all over my cheeks as a transition color for my contouring. I don't so contour like anymore. Face. Why didn't she set any of the face makeup? Then we're gonna contour. And I'm also I'm using another Morphe brush that doesn't have a name on it in my Anastasia contour kit. And I'm going to be using these two right here. I'm just exfoliating the fuck out of my skin. I want it to be a little orangey because I do have orange up there. I'm gonna be using Glisten by Tarte. I love an orange blush. I'm using this angled Okay, pause. Okay, I'm gonna be using my Trixie Cosmetics. Trixie and Kimchi BRB Blush Pink Era. This lighting is so bad and I'm really sorry about that. The EOS lip balm. No way. Ow. That's immediately a hundred times better. Why didn't I do that an hour ago? Go to the blends, which is Naked by Urban Decay and Naked 2. I can never do the nude lip. I'm gonna go in with this Buxom one because it's kind of similar. Um, and Dangerous Dolly. That's what they call me. This is my holy grail right here. It is mineralized Mexican. All right. The situation, situation? The situation around my mouth is truly unfortunate. Just crusty and dry. It's a little darker, but I think it will have to do, babe. Everyone asked me about this highlighter. You be so loud outside. I forgot about highlighter. I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the, the contour I use and it comes with this. I never use this, but f it. Oh yeah, oh yes. Oh yes. And then never forget the nose highlight. Make sure it's yellow and doesn't match your skin tone at all. Yup. Oh, up the bridge, I forgot. And then to finish off the look, I use Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Setting spray I've ever used, ever. Are those the fake glitter tattoos? Is the complete look. <gasps> the look is complete. So let me know what you thought and I can't wait. I wanted to be here so bad. Be quiet. What? Shh. No, I'm loud. I'm sorry, it's who I am. Okay. That is it for me. There's a whole other two minutes of her just talking at the end of this. Shut up! <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Okay. Well, I've seen enough. Let's take a look at the finished products. Here is the finished look. Let me, I, I don't have the cute little bob that she does to pull it off. I just, I'm gonna look bald. Ew, my hair is so greasy. Ew! <laughs> this is the final look. Natural light is the worst thing I could possibly stand in. <laughs> Thanks for, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really love this look. <laughs> okay, here's the finished look. It honestly, for its time, was so iconic and parts of it hold up. The orange on blue eyes is really pretty and I love the smudged black under the eye, but other than that, 
I will not be wearing this, but this was so iconic. This was so iconic, dude. Anybody who used to watch her videos, you understand. Okay, thanks for watching, and I love y'all. And um, I'm gonna cut my hair into a bob. I'm gonna cut my hair off right here. And I'm gonna go into my hairstyles, and he's gonna be like, why, why did you do that, do you think? And I'm gonna say, Akakia told me to. Here is the shine on my forehead for those who missed it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and follow and rate me five stars on Yelp. Okay, bye bye.